Hello, everybody. So good to be with you again. So, um, I was talking the other day with a friend and client of mine in Switzerland. Um, the guy just has this terrific little cabin in the mountains of Switzerland where uh, he and his wife live. I mean, it's pretty pretty idyllic. <laughs> he hadn't worked for the last four years. He's dedicated himself to nothing but this for the last four years. I don't know the details of all that, but I do know he, he's been to India and this and that and the other. And he, he's a and he and he's a he's a guy that's really becoming uh, brightly awake. I mean, he's not he's not satisfied with just waking up. He really wants to clear up. So we were talking the other day about the methods by which we fog up. <laughs> and we were talking about how we add things to ourselves, you know, because we're always in that act of becoming, because that's what we believe is, is the big deal, isn't it? I mean, we just think that what we're, <clears throat> is that, I mean, this moment is not important. It's the next moment that's going to be important. It's not um, this action that's important because this action is just to get me through to the next action that hopefully will be important, but this one is, is a drag. <laughs> so the um, we, well, we add stuff to us as well because we're not enough. I'm, I'm going to be enough pretty soon, but I'm not enough right now. <laughs> I just need that one more thing. And I get that one more thing, and gee, that one quite that one didn't quite do it. I thought it would do it, but I noticed it didn't. And I see why, because it's that thing over there that I need. <laughs> so I get that, go get that one, and then there's something left. So we we um, we add to ourselves by adding um, qualities, uh, by adding. Uh, in, a, in other words, I, I, I want to be more charming so that that's an addition to me and I'll be more attractive to the opposite sex and, and to the people I'm around in general. And I want to uh, add education and I want to add this and I want to add money and I want to add certain clothes and because we're really defined, aren't we, by what we like and we don't like. In other words, I'm, uh, I like, I mean, just this unit's as guilty as any unit. I mean, it likes a particular type, to dress a particular type of way. It also likes to dress in a very different way than this, but I think that this teaching will be heard better with me looking like this than it will be me looking like a spiritual teacher. I mean, we got enough people doing that. We don't have a whole lot of people that are doing it um, in polo shirts, and it's probably not a bad idea, you know, and all that. So we want it because we have to present this thing in the way it needs to be presented to the people who have to see it in a certain way because we can we can only see what we can see. We can only hear what we can hear. We can only hear it and see it for as long as we see it from those people and then it may pass. I mean people who think I'm wonderful today may may tomorrow think that you know that Fred was a was a good teacher and he took me as far as as he could go, which is may not be true, but I, he took me as far as I could go with Fred and then um and then now I've got this teacher and that's and this is clearer and better. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I did the same thing. I never felt like I grew out of any teacher. I just noticed that I was working with others, you know, as well, or or instead of. And finally, I'm now I'm not really working with any teacher. The uh, don't really feel the need of it. If I do, you can bet you that I will go after it. So what are we talking about? This addition thing, adding, adding, adding. And and my friend uh, and I hit. On where we what we what came up was the fact that we also add by subtraction. Unbelievable, but we do. Ego will do anything to differentiate itself. So instead of now adding more and more stuff to me, now what I'm doing is I'm pulling more and more stuff off, and I'm getting better. I'm making real spiritual progress, and I'm probably going to wake up. In, oh, I would think the next few years, next few months, next few lifetimes, next few days, next few hours, next few minutes, whatever it is. But pretty soon, in comparison to what I had originally thought, I'm now going to wake up because I'm making a lot of progress. I am a very much a, a proponent of progress. So I don't speak of it now in the way that I would with you, in the sense if you and I were talking and I said, hey, you're making a lot of progress, that would be a very good thing. And I don't mean it in the same way here. The, I, the one that's making, because when I'm referring to that, I'm not referring to the client. I'm referring to me. 
and that I'm making a lot of progress in that location, so to speak. When, when we say it about ourselves, typically what we're talking about is the unit is making a lot of progress. The unit will soon, uh, the unit will, the unit will soon be enlightened, and we, in the same way that we would, exactly the same way that we thought we would be happy by adding, adding, adding. What we notice is, but we just need one more thing, is that we do the same thing with subtraction. And I quit eating, and I quit smoking. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'll talk from my experience a little bit, and. Um, I quit smoking and I uh, uh, and I quit drinking and I felt like these were just tremendous spiritual advances on my part and they were huge human advances, no question about that. But neither one of them had anything to do with enlightenment, other than the fact that if one does wake up while one is drunk, it's probably not going to be sustained for very long. It, it could happen. It happened to me when I was still living a drunk's life, but I wasn't drunk at that moment. But I believe I do believe I'd had a beer or two, so it's nothing that uh, uh, strict on that either. What we can subtract by by giving up meat, we can subtract by giving up sex, we can get subtract by giving up our names. But we're taking on now a new special spiritual name, and if I'm not careful, instead of using that to help me drop the ego, I'm going to use it the way a lot of people use it which is to now I'm special. I'm more special even than I used to be because now I have a spiritual name. And, and I want you to call me by that name even though you can't hardly pronounce it because then we'll both recognize that I'm a highly developed spiritual being. I mean, it just you get this? We have to be careful. This thing is so subtle. It will take the path itself and utilize it to extend the path. So... The same thing can happen with our clothes. Again, we talked about this, but but let's talk about, you know, we can get special spiritual clothes, and they don't have to be robes and stuff. We don't have to go that far if we don't want to. It's fine if we do, but we don't want to use that as a way of separating ourselves from the herd. Um, but we can, you know, nonetheless, you know, come up with, I mean, my wife dresses in nice, lovely flowy garments and all that stuff. But I don't think she takes herself as a very, too seriously as, you know, a spiritually developed person or whatever. I mean, although she is, she doesn't take it seriously. Uh, I had a woman, here's another, uh, another call. I had a woman yesterday, and she called and did an introductory session. She just wanted, and she, I could tell by the email, that what she really just wanted was confirmation of her awakening. And that's tricky because I got to tell you that Bert, almost always when people call me to get a confirmation of their awakening, I mean, not that I've done that much of it, but I've done a fair bit of it. And it's just, I have had a lot of people call and tell me they didn't need an awakening session. They'd like to go straight to clarity sessions. But you could tell from the email they were not clear. So I have had a lot of experience on that level. But this woman yesterday, it was interesting because she told me... Um, it was evident from everything that she was saying that she was brightly awake. You know, she the uh, she she really was. And I had been awake a little longer in the same way that there are teachers out there who uh, have been awake longer than me, and I can still learn things from them. There's no n there's no shame in that. You know, I can only be as bright as I can be today. Um, and uh, it's not we don't want to compare us. I'm not as bright as so and so. That's not true. I'm as bright as I am. They are as bright as they are. If I notice that there appears to be a little bit more light coming from that one over there, you can bet you going to if I if I have the opportunity, I'm going to slide up next to it and see if some of that light will help to move me too. See if they can teach me something. I have no shame in that. I will learn. I, and I tell clients all the time. They'll say something. I say I'm going to steal that. <laughs> They'll say something particularly wonderful, and it just slips right out. You know, it's just a spontaneous answer to something, and I'm telling them, okay, I'm going to steal that. I love that. Beautiful. Um, I will, I will listen to my to, to my own wisdom from whichever mouth it comes from. I have no particular preference. It uh, the the units all caught up with the stuff that comes out of this mouth. You know, the ego just thinks that this oh, this is the really key unit, but that ain't. The <laughs> But that's not true, of course. So this, what at any rate, this what this woman went on to say was, you know, well, I know I've reached the point where I know that either I am, I am, I'm quite awake or I'm totally deluded, one of the two. And I said, ma'am, <laughs> I got to tell you something. 
generally speaking, people who come to me who want to prove that they are awake would never say that. They would never doubt themselves. They want to just be sure, and they want me to be sure that they're sure. that, I, And so I can be sure, and I can convince them to be even more sure, and then we can convince others that they are sure, and they can teach, or whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever it is that they're after. But this woman was in just complete... She had, and she really didn't... Really, You could see there was not a tremendous preference there. <laughs> she was happy being deluded. If that, was delu if that was as good as it got for her, fine. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this delusion. Man, don't wake me up. But she wasn't deluded. She was clear as a bell. And I was able to give her confirmation. And that's always a lot of fun. Because I remember how important... I got confirmation from a couple of different teachers. And I remember when I did and how important that was to me. It was really a big deal. I still have a thing up here framed from Sailor Bob. The uh, And Scott Killaby gave me um, confirmation. And you, know, you, you, you get it. You get it. Then you don't need it. Once you, once you, by the time you get it, you don't actually need it because it's self-confirming. But it's still nice. It's still nice. And I was able to help that woman in that way. But she wasn't calling me to really... She wanted confirmation if she was due. But she didn't want me to give her confirmation if she wasn't. And that's the difference. Because that when we come, and we want confirmation when, we have, when we're not quite there yet, we're still adding. Uh, we're adding by addition. When we come for, when we just are, are already sure, but we just would like, you know, a little informal confirmation, whatever. Then that's then that was authentic, but this addition by subtraction thing is watch out, because now I've given up so and so, and I'm getting more and more holy by the moment. This is what's the good news, <laughs> and and I'll and soon I'll be there. And it's a story of future, folks. It's just a story of future. It's a story of time to begin with, which is always a story of future or past, because there's no story about the present. There's just this. I mean, we can say that we're telling ourselves a story about the present, but if we do, it's actually always going to be based on a past and a future because I can't tell myself a story about the truth. There's no story here. There's just this, whatever it is. I know that I am, but I don't know what I am. So I got no story about it. You know, I just know that there's this going on, and I don't have a story that this is right or wrong, that it's good or bad, that it's, uh, I don't, you know. In this particular moment, I don't even it don't even have the the nicer, more gentle characterizations of skillful or unskillful. I just have this, you know, skillful or unskillful. Would, well, I guess you know this video is is either skillful or unskillful. It sounds to my ear as I cut it that it's pretty skillful. I may sound later, sad later that it's not. If if it's not, I'll delete it. But I don't think I'll be deleting this one. But I have deleted them because. Um, I wasn't as clear as I wanted to be. In other words, I wasn't as clear as I want to be so that I can bring this teaching to as many people as possible. And if I if I cut some video that's not particularly clear and it runs some people off, I haven't done my job very well. The idea is not to run people off, but to bring people in unless they're supposed to be run off. And that should not be because I'm unskillful. That should be because they just don't have the ears to hear. Whether it's the ears to may, may just be that they don't have the ears to hear Fred's teaching. But they may be able to go on and hear the teaching of A, B, C, or D beautifully and wake up with them. But that doesn't make this teaching unskillful or unawake. It means it wasn't for you. And by the same token, if you can hear me and you've not been able to hear your teachers before me very clearly, and I get that every single day, it doesn't mean that those people aren't uh, aware and awake. It means that, and it doesn't even mean that they're not expressing themselves clearly. It means you don't have the ears to hear them, but others may. Now, if others, if others don't either, and there's nobody well waking up over there, then we can begin to take a look and see if, you know, how skillful that unit really is. We, we need to, t we we might want to check and see how awake that unit really is. Um, but if there are other people waking up, ba -ba -boom, boom, ba -boom, and you're not, find a teaching where you can, and that includes this one. If you go along with this teaching for some time, and you, like if you have sessions with me and you don't wake up, go find somebody else, because this is the clearest thing that I know 
but it may not be the clearest thing on the planet. I got to tell you, it feels like it to me. But that doesn't, but that doesn't mean anything. It's just my opinion, and I would naturally side with myself and my own teaching. So I don't actually know what's been said here, but I do know it's talked what sounds like clearly to me. So I guess I've rambled, um, but uh, a little bit. But I was supposed to ramble. You see that? I wasn't supposed to come out of here. I thought I was going to come out of here and cut a five-minute video about adding by subtraction. I came out and I've cut so far about a 15-and-a-half-minute video, and I've covered all kinds of things. And, you know, and, and, and so be it. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.